Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Matt from Fishing Drones. I love to fish and I love to drone, so I thought, why not combine the two? 24 hours in a day, what the fuck you gonna say? Pick a lane, man, you gotta choose one. It's what they used to tell me every day. Caught a few along the way, don't be afraid if you gotta lose one. I'm trying to take it higher, the boy is on fire. He preaching to the choir, you know that. Never been a liar, the boy is on fire. I'll take it to the wire, you know that. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Matt from Fishing Drones. I love to fish and I love to drone, so I thought, why not combine the two? So today I got a little time to do some fishing. Went to my favorite spot. Had to pull up at the warehouse for work, so I figured, ah, why not stop here? It's a little cold out. It's like 45 degrees, a little windy. But one thing I want to do today is try out this app, Barometric Pressures. I've been fishing here and there. And I've always been going at times where the barometric pressure isn't high. So today I would like to test out the barometric pressure, which I believe starts at like three to five where the activity gets really high with the fish as you know, the fish app is predicting. So kind of want to put it to the test. I'm showing up. It's 145. So I'm like an hour early. So maybe if there's some fish feeling the pressure they might bite early but it gives me like a good two hours three hours to fish and i think that's fairly enough but uh let's check out this app that i'm speaking about so this app's pretty cool it's called fish angler pretty much like an instagram of fishing and you got this random guy ed t caught this about a week ago let's go to the forecast so it reads the forecast here, it says fish forecast, weather forecast, barometric pressure, wind forecast. Barometric pressure will be raising around 3. So let's go back and let's see this fish forecast. So the fish forecast, barometric pressure change will start around 3. Some 3 to 5 will be some major activity. 2 is when it's going to start increasing. And oh, would you look at that. It's 1.45, 2 p.m. So, if I start catching some, a lot of fish, and even some big fish, I'm praying, I'm looking for a four pounder, but if I start catching a lot of fish, then I know this app works, because I've been fishing around the times where the barometric pressures and the fish activity is at its all time low. So with that being said, let's put the app to the test. I got like three rods with me. I got a square bill, a chatter bait, and another square bill. But anyway, get out on this water. <laughs> All right. So, very windy out here. Let's uh, see what we can do here. Then, uh, All right, let my fishing poles fall, I guess. Looks a little more natural than the chartreuse. Not gonna throw the chartreuse right away. Take these guys off. I woke up, saw the weather. I was like, ah, it's a little cold, a little chilly, but it could work. Very windy though, so let's see. With all this wind, it might be a chatterbait type of day, which I did bring. Kind of glad I brought it. All right, let's get to it. This visibility is like really clear in this water today. It's insane. So I'm gonna play with the natural colored one. It's really not that natural, but out of the selection I got, it's the most natural. So we're gonna go with that. I'm playing with three here, and two on this side. So hopefully that doesn't uh, affect me. It's kind of lazy switching out the hook. All right. Let's see if we could at least land one. Oh, and I missed him. And he can't, he's coming back. Fuck, it's because of that stupid hook. All right, I'm switching up. Throw the chatty in the prime spots. Try over here. Let's see if we can pull one out from some like weird area over here. What the 
fuck, man. But whatever, could work. Got one, guys. I gotta tighten the drag, fuck. It's a big one, fuck. I gotta tighten my drag. Oh my god. Come on. Come on, man. Guys, this is it. Let me tighten this drag. Let me not lose all over here. Fuck. Fuck, he got me in the weeds. All right, guys. Chatterbait was gonna do it today. Come on. Yes, motherfucker. Yeah. Pull them out today, boys. Pull them out today, boys. I fucking saw that coming. Knew it. I fucking knew it. Look at that, boys. Look at that, boys. Didn't I fucking call it chatterbait? Glad I threw it over there, man. Easy three pounds, three and a half. Four pounds, one ounce, baby. Woo! Let me get a picture with this from my phone. And then we're gonna get a release on it. All right, let's get a release on her. I don't wanna keep her out the water too long. Look at that, guys. My hand's so cold right now, but it's so worth it. Yeah. <laughs> fuck yeah. <laughs> That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Four pounder baby chatter bait. The barometric pressure fucking app fucking worked. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Oh my God, guys. Nice four pounder off the chatter bait. I was literally just saying that chatter bait pulls out the donkeys. They bring out the big ones. I did not expect to catch that four pounder up oh, shallow. He was around here, around this bed. Look, it's pretty shallow right here. So these fish are moving up and I hope I didn't take them out of its like uh, spawn spot. Nonetheless, oh my God, what a fight that was. I didn't have my drag set because I didn't really expect to catch a four pounder. I was like, oh, I'll probably catch like a little one or two. So let me keep it loose. So I had to keep so much tension on that damn line to not lose that fish. And I hook set it in pretty good as well. So even if I wanted to keep, like, let it loose and let him run, I don't think it would have came out. He was pretty, it was pretty tight. But all right, let's continue on. I'm gonna fish probably for like another half hour, an hour. It's barometric pressure's picking up, boys. All right, guys, made it back to the car. I didn't catch any fish the rest of the time being here. I don't know if it's because the water's too cold. It's like 45 degrees outside, what is it? So you gotta think, 45 degrees outside, it's gotta be at least 30 degrees in the water. I don't know, I don't know the exact math or measurements and whatnot, but that's why I look at it. 30 is pretty cold. Great catch, nice four pounder off the chatterbait. I had a feeling, a great feeling that the chatterbait was gonna work. You know, it was really windy outside, very cold. Well, I'm gonna end this video. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Please leave a comment. What's your opinions on these barometric pressures and fishing apps and whatnot? Do you guys think it works? Do you think I should have stayed a little longer today? Do you guys think the weather played a part? Like the uh, temperature? Do you think it was just a coincidence I caught that three pound, that four pounder? Like I said, this is like the third time me going out an hour prior to the to uh, the barometric pressure change and catching the donkeys man i catch them that's weird i don't know if it's just a coincidence or it's it's like a good time to fish but anyway i'm about to hit the road so don't want to talk and drive don't want to film and drive so thank you for watching this is matt from fishing drones i love to fish and i love to drone so i thought why not combine the two over and out